Hey, hey, good morning, people, and welcome back to another daily Forex market analysis, an episode on the YouTube where I record everything I do and my approach to the market. It's today is the 17th of June, almost the half of the year has gone through. Uh, actually, it's half of this month, uh, which kind of separates the first half and the second uh, half of a year. So let's just dig into the content and see what's been happening uh, since Friday. Well, obviously markets brokers have uh, are closed so nothing nothing has happened but we had the Sunday open and market did had some action in it. So on the USD CAD nothing for us as you know we are trading the uh, patterns so but besides maybe this right here. Oh, let's check it out. It's a bad is it a bad it's a bad pattern. But as you can see, it's pro it's already uh, activated. So that means that I missed the entry. It was on a Sunday 14th. Actually, it's when, it was on Friday, uh, 6 p.m. o'clock, uh, uh, 6, 6, 7, 6, 6 uh, p.m. So uh, I'm trading until 5 p.m. And I was not able to get engaged. Since then, the price has been ra uh, moving sideways, basically, because a lot of volume has gone uh, out from the market at the evening and Fridays and uh, some kind of a double double top has been formed but it's not actually a valid double top but it looks like it and we have some kind of a divergence so I would expect and I hope the price action for all of you who got engaged will drop down from this point on but you never know. Aussie Cat, Aussie Cat uh, I'm waiting for this since uh, I think last Thursday or something this is a bad pattern on the Aussie Cat you can see this X to A, A to B, B to C, and then CD completion. My price alert has been set since you know last week, and I'm waiting for it to be triggered. When it does, uh, then I will get in, uh, uh, then I will get in it because I have additional rule set for this shit, for this part of me, for this uh, trade, which is I need to go uh, for bad pattern. I need it to go overbought, and for regardless, I'm not trading it at all on this pair. Also, is the uh, nothing for me. It's moving just in bearish direction. I'm still testing the trend strategy. Euro dollar. Last week we caught uh, this double top entry on the euro dollar. Right now we are sitting at around 111 pips in profit. I I did expect some kind of a reaction at this weak point at this support level resistance level here. So I do hope that price action eventually will reverse and roll over to hit at least my targets one so that I can move my stop loss to break even and then hopefully get to my targets too which would be the biggest trade ever for me and get me out of the drawdown with a single trade actually in directly into a profit for a total of 500 pips. This is how it looks like on a here as you can see. So we are making some money on a swap but I would I would prefer it for it to hit targets. Besides this we still uh, we are in another trade since last week which is a pound and cipher pattern. You can see it a little bit better on an hour four. Uh, this was the pattern here. Sorry. This is the pattern. We got in, engaged at this candle right there and then pri price continuing to roll over but uh, essentially th since this candle we did not make lower low lower close because if you look carefully we got this weak candle and a show of buyers and this candle did not close below this one this candle did not cl close below this one and then we had a small gap market open at this price point and the buyers pushed the price up. The only thing that I got to do now is adjust my targets because you know we did get a gap down so my targets will be at a lower level right now at a what 28 pips and then we have a target to for 73 pips still 100 pip potential win uh, for both targets another 25 euros or something which is you know one in a something uh, percent which is always nice. Uh, and I do hope that we will get hit to both of both of the targets. And pound dollar, I kind of skipped it, but it's you know it's moving bearish, and uh, there's a big bad pattern. If you got engaged in it last week, last Friday, there it is. I did not. 
I did not. I think it was the time or it was an overbought, oversold uh, condition that I have. This was, yeah, it was out of my trading time. I do hope for you who did get engaged for, for you to hit both profits. It's 180 pips away for both profits and uh, it, it, it's a great risk to reward. But yeah, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, that kind of sums up my morning session. Uh, if you like this kind of a content, I, I do this on a daily basis and I upload videos whenever we get some kind of an action. So consider subscribing, make sure to click that like button, share a video, tell a friend and leave a comment if you agree or you, if you don't disagree with my analysis, this is what it is. I would like to chit chat with you about it. Also on the screen right now, you can see a link to the ebook that I spent two months writing where I share everything I wish I knew when I was first starting out so that I don't need to go out and blow a lot of money like many of us do when we're just starting out. And with that being said, hope to see you sticking around for the afternoon session, which is coming right up. Thank you and bye bye. Hey, hey guys and welcome back to the afternoon session so from this morning session we have this big bad pattern that i said it you know currently we have some kind of a stall and some kind of a double top here and the price started kind of rolling over very very slowly so if you're in it it's going in your direction it is slow but hopefully it will you know speed up and hit your targets i'm not and besides this i got nothing today on this pair in terms of this pair, we were waiting for this bigger bad pattern here, but it obviously got violated, so nothing here. I can remove my uh, alarm, so I just did that. Besides this, let's move to Aussie USD. Uh, rolling over, rolling over, pull back, roll over. So not, right now, I believe it's a, we are in a bearish trend. Yeah, overall, we did close below. Uh, actually. It, there is a still chance for this candle in the next 40 minutes or so to close above and we, we would have a do valid double bottom with the divergence on our four which would mean that we might see some kind of a pullback in the previous structure that is this level right there and maybe then we could see a rollover uh, to the lower uh, to the lower price point so let's see how far can we go yeah i mean we are this week is playing with us i don't like this scenario at all but it is what it is we will see how the daily candle closes as well euro dollar since this morning uh you know we got a double bottom here as you can see then we did uh push up we did rally up and then what we got is a, for a bigger cipher pattern hour four we got actually 2618 if somebody uh is trading these cipher patterns but i do hope you guys gonna lose because i'm short on this and i hope that the price action will roll over and hit my targets we are around halfway there so i hope for you to lose if you're long and i'm hoping that i will win we will definitely see what's gonna happen just a little joke there pound dollar we are rolling over we are rolling over we did not let me just double check did we close yeah we did close based on this on our one candle close we closed below the x points of the pattern is invalidated right now there is a chance that we will get a pullback and then a roll over to uh, you know to stop loss but we will see if you're trading this uh, you gotta stick with it and see what's gonna happen there's there is also a chance that it, the price action will push up and rally up and hit your targets we never know pound yen not looking that promising anymore we did have some kind of a double bottom then rally up and now we are rolling over i just hope it will not that this price point here will not get violated We'll def this week should not get violated this is a crucial week right now and i hope we will not get violation of this week right there if we do the pro you know we are invalid the pattern is invalidated and we have still 35 minutes to see what's going to happen the it's not looking promising to be honest we did get some kind of a double bottom here at the hour one uh, and then we get a uh, you know, rally up close above the peak of double bottom, but then the price action roll lower and now currently it's very, very close to our stop loss. And I don't like this scenario, but you know, it is what it is. If I get stopped out, I will get stopped out and I will just stick with my trading plan. Uh, besides this, there's nothing else on the radar for me. So I'm just here sticking with my guns and waiting for the 
price action in the markets to, the, to do their thing. And with that being said, guys, this is a daily Forex market analysis. If you like this kind of a content, if you like the approach to the markets, please consider subscribing. Also, make sure to hit that like button, smash the bell button, leave a comment below and share a video so that as many people as possible can see it and so that we can help as many people as possible. Also, uh, on the screen right now, you should see a link to the ebook that I wrote that where I shared everything I wish I knew when I was first starting out and I hope it can help you as well. If you follow that link or if you paste it in a browser, copy it, there is a link in the description as well. You will get a put your details in, you'll get a chance to join our free community where we chat about trading and investing on a daily basis. Hope to see you there and with that being said, thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon. Bye bye.